Welcome to this Jasper Soap Report video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to demonstrate on how to create a QR code and barcode. So now, without any further ado, let's get started. In this video, we'll walk through to this uh, previous example. As you recall, we create a group of sections here then also uh, with the use of variables we group them as a group of total and a group of overall now on this video uh, we're going to add uh, one more column here and we're going to link that to our QR code or barcode so let's get started to start with i'll be adding this field uh, this uh, image shooting here so as you can see this is a hyperlink or an image link of a product this is only a test product from what i have checked from online so later on we're going to use this link uh, to preview as a QR code now there's so many ways or you can also convert this into a, a barcode but i will prefer to use QR code for this demo so let's start. To begin with, let's go back to our design. And let's move this a little closer. Okay. In Jasper, there is what you call under these basic elements. There is one uh, element here that capable of, of creating or generating a barcode. And this element is called barcode. Okay, I'm going to drag one example here. Okay, in a uh, barcode wizard, uh, you can convert that accordingly to your what if what's the requirements of your company or the product. So most cases they use the code 39, 128, like this one here. So let's let's say you're going to pick this uh, code one to eight. Okay. So let's say from this point here. Now, if you're planning to use a barcode, so say, uh, simply as just uh, proceed with the component, and then on the barcode sections here. You can pick or type the information. Okay. Uh, we'll be use this, uh, using the, the fields. Okay. If you have some bunch of codes here uh, dedicated for barcode, uh, you can simply overwrite this one or replace that in here. But for some cases, uh, like this one, this is purely a text. Just make sure you need to enclose that in a double quotation. So let's say um, that's going to pick a. Okay, so I guess we don't have a sample field from here. So in barcode, you can combine this with any any elements. So let's say a combination of, of alphanumeric like A, like this one, and sample of E or something like that. If you see the preview, you can barely see right away the content. So this is how you generate your barcode. Now for our for this demo, uh, I'll be I'll be using the other elements, which is same goes using the barcode, but this time I'll be using a QR code to link this fields here, this link. So to do that. Let's say I'm going to delete this one. Okay. Going back to our uh, orders here or your main route, right click to this one and click data set and query. Okay. 
as you can see uh, the link column is, the, is not yet uh, added into our section here so what we need to do is we need to click the read fields okay there you go so this will add our our field, uh, column here now there is uh, one thing that whenever you did something like this make sure that the uh, the previous field uh, you need to re-entry that because for some cases it will result to reset so like this one uh, last time in my previous topic I include the uh, image property here and same goes for the order date so let's fix all of that this one the image and the order date so I'll click OK okay from our field let's click per or fix first our image date okay as you can see it was default to local date time so i'm going to head it back to date okay and for the image I'm going to change that back to let's say that is that out that image okay so let's preview that just to make sure that there uh, we didn't miss anything so this is one thing you need to be very careful whenever you were if you added some additional fields so whatever the progress or whatever the the things that you did in the field make sure it will be preserved or re enter or re entry that value okay so same since everything's good the image didn't break so we can proceed now with the QR code okay a while ago I demonstrated on how to add a barcode now same goes if I use that element as well notice uh, there is another thing that we need to consider so I'm going to add that in this section here okay Okay, in this section here, so aside from barcode, we can also add a QR code. So, if you are not familiar with QR code, a QR code is simply uh, a printed code that forwards you to a link. So, like now, I'll be using this one. Let's say, click finish. Okay, there you go. Let me expand that a little bit. Okay. So what we need to do is I'm going to link here our links from our product. So as you will remember, I put a link of a certain product. So these are the links that will be embedded later on in our uh, in our report. So to do that from here, okay. Oops under that okay so from here clicking the element headed back to the barcode then in our barcode we need to add that link this one so simply double click that okay so now we have our link here so let's try if we preview this one And there you go. Okay. Seems everything is working now. Okay. Let us uh, exp uh, okay. Let's increase the percentage here. Okay. Let's put it center. And there you go. Okay, cool. Now, to test this one, of course, you cannot do this by simply double click or, or something. What you need to do is you need to download an app 
you can use uh, you can use either your your standard uh, I mean you can use also your app from the phone so anything that apps that's uh, that supports QR code you can use this to to scan this code here uh, just to make sure that the links that uh, link here are directly open to the website so that's the purpose of QR code okay cool so that's it guys okay so if you have some questions or, or some parts here uh, you just uh just simply put on the comment section below and i'm going to check all of that but for now uh, if you find this video informative don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and see you guys on the next video series cheers